What is up future millionaires? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going over my top five startup business tips, okay? These are proven to help achieve success. And for those of you who are in that beginner phase of your business, even if you're someone who's already been in business, but you wanna make sure that you're starting off well, that you're implementing well, this video is really going to help. So I want you guys to drop a money bag in the comments below and let's use that as a way to claim that your business is going to be bringing in big bags only, okay? Comment big bags only with a money bag down below and let's get right into this video. Ellie talks money to create the better days. Business, money, life, the Ellie way. All right, y'all, so let's dive into startup tips that I have for you and five proven strategies to help you really build a successful business online. So the first thing that I'm gonna say is make sure you secure your idea. Listen, I have worked with a ton of business owners and the biggest error that I see is that they haven't fully secured the name or secured the brand. And what I mean by that is, number one, you need to purchase all domains relevant to the business name or idea that you have, okay? So if you wanna create, you know, Ashley's uh, Amazing Puppies or something, by the domains, by any alternate spellings of the domain, that's a part of your intellectual property. You need to ensure that you own that because if someone wants to find you online, that's how they're going to find you is through your domain and through your website. In addition, make sure you secure all social media handles. Make sure that you also do a trademark search. Now, I won't say that you need to trademark it up front because trademarking can be anywhere from 1500 to $2,500, so it could be a little pricey for newer businesses, but at the least, you want to do a trademark search, which is free. You can do this at the USPTO.gov office, and that will allow you to see, does anyone else have that name? It's good to do that because you don't wanna get all the way into your business and maybe perhaps you cannot go forward with that name because it's already belonging to someone else and that would be trademark infringement. So that's an important step. And then lastly, make sure you form the LLC, y'all. Listen, we are gone are the days of starting a business without actually having an LLC, without actually having a business bank account. You wanna make sure that you are setting yourself up for success and doing that means having those key things and securing the brand, okay? Now the next thing that I wrote down for you guys is to do some market research. So once you've secured some things, you want to look into who needs this service, right? And there are so many ways to do market research, but I'm going to give you a few. Number one, you can hire someone on Fiverr, right? If you are not the best at research, I remember writing papers in college, child. Ugh, research is just, it's very time consuming but there are some ways to make it quick and easy. So hire someone on Fiverr, you wanna look for a research assistant, okay? Now, when you look for this person, they typically charge $10 an hour or some sort of flat rate, and you want to ask them to do research around this industry, how much does it make per year, what are the average customers. Now, you also can give them instruction to go and search Reddit, and Quora. Now what you want them to look for specifically here is to take some of the questions that have been asked in this niche or area and put them all on a spreadsheet. This is useful because now you can go to this spreadsheet and see what are people asking about this business, about this particular industry, about this niche, and that is going to help you formulate how you as the business owner are going to you know, craft your marketing, craft your service and product offering to really fit into what people are looking for or what questions they have around this area. Now you can also do this yourself by looking up Reddit, looking up Quora, going into Facebook groups. My favorite strategy was was reading YouTube comments and reading Instagram and TikTok comments around videos in my niche or industry. That lets me know what questions people still have, what areas may be going untapped or unanswered so that I can ensure in my business I fill those holes with certain products, certain topics, certain content creation, and etc. So market research is super important. 
Now, next tip, number three, you want to offer free value, okay? Now, I know you're thinking, girl, Ellie, I wanna make money. Why would I give something away for free? But listen, listen, listen here. You've got to understand that in this online market, there are so many people, you know, consumers are inundated with ads and videos and emails and messages all the time. So what you have to stand out from the crowd and one of the ways to build trust and likability is to offer things for free. This is going to quickly help you grow your email list. It's going to quickly help you grow your text list and really help you to build a you know more engaged community because now they have received something from you and people love free gifts so this gift can look like a discount code it can be a free guide or a checklist it could be a free ebook it could be a free consultation right as as many as you can do a thousand free consultation calls could be a lot but that could be a just free mini course as well right instead of an actual call and what that's going to do is give them an opportunity to see you know how your products look how your services look you know what type of coach or business person you are and now they're familiar with you so that person who receives something for free is more likely to then convert into a paid customer down the road okay now I want you guys to comment down below if you're at this point in the video and you want to understand how you can offer free value how you can kind of create some of these lead magnets as we call them comment down below any questions and I will make sure that my team and I send you a link so we can work with you further okay now the next tip that I have is to be loud about your business be audacious about your business. Believe in your business, you guys. Creating content I know seems like a daunting task, but here's how you have to think about it. You're not creating content, you're marketing your business. And if you believe in your business, you need to be loud about your business, which means posting, which means going live, which means engaging with your audience, which means driving traffic, being loud about your business means posting consistently, marketing consistently so that people understand, hey, I'm here and I have a business that can solve your problem. I'm here and if you need me to keep your puppies, I can do that. Marketing is really getting and getting customers by being the loudest person in the room, metaphorically. That's how you have to see it. You are going to gain customers and attention by being vocal, right? Being present, being out there. And my last tip for you is one of my favorites and that is to use automation strategies, okay? So using um, programs like mini chat, for example, is one that you can use on Instagram so that when people send you DMs or leave a comment, you're able to automatically reply with a link or an offer. And that's going to really help you grow quickly without necessarily having to outsource to hiring right away, especially when you're at the beginning phase in your business, that might not be an option. So I want you to comment down below what questions of these do you have and which one should I make a first further detailed video on and I'm more than happy to do that. Now make sure you jump to the next video on this playlist and stay over here with Ellie Talks Money. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!